All right, this is Black Amber 47. I'm just gonna do a quick study of before the rain really hits. <laughs> Let's say you're out in town and you're about to be, you get into a gunfight situation. What do you do? You got your XD and your XD run dry. You go to your backup. Let's do a quick one as the rain begin to fall. And I'm gonna simulate unprofessionally in a gunfight with two individuals with the XD and my backup. The subcompact XD 9mm. Unprofessionally, the Walter P22 Springfield Armory 9mm Subcompact XD. A winning combination for both in any type of weather. Hello again, YouTube. This is backlash with the XDM subcompact 9mm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this again. I ran it around once. I'm gonna try it again. The weather seems to slack up just a few minutes for a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna simulate an unprofessional firefight. We don't know when it's gonna happen or if it may ever happen. But this is just my this is my rendition of it. I'm gonna go with the Go with my 9mm, and then I'm going to switch to my backup, my Walter P22. Let's see how it works. And just realize, it's not a professional video, it's just a scenario. We don't know how things go down, but enough talking, let's get to it. And again, the XD performed flawless. The Walter P22. Hey, what can I say? I, you can go with a revolver, you can go with the semi-automatics, but one thing you've got to do, practice, practice, practice. And as you can tell, I need a hell of a lot more practice, but still, how can you go wrong the subcompact 9mm XD, the Walter P22 long rifle. Now, YouTube fans, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire a few rounds through my XD downrange. Uh, there's no specific targets out there. But, I will say this, I have not cleaned my XDM as of yet. Out of 400 rounds, I have had no jams. No jams, and the Walter P22, I have not cleaned as of yet. And again, I have fired over 400 rounds through the Walter P22 using various caliber ammo, and I find that amazing. Because I had a Walter P22 about a year ago, and it jammed every time, and I got rid of it. But I bought another one because of the price of ammo and rem remarkable, it has not jammed as of yet. Uh, I have had a misfire, but that was due to a shooter's error. So I'm going to fire a few rounds downrange. This will probably be 455 <laughs> rounds. It'll be five rounds out of each gun and we'll call it a day.
again, you can't go wrong with either weapons. Springfield Armory, Smith & Wesson Walter P-22. The subcompact, Carrying is both concealed. Again, winning combination. Again, you two, the Walter P-22 in the 10-round magazine, the subcompact, XD, the XD-9 subcompact, which is illegal in California due to the high cap magazines. I believe uh, you can't get it there with the high cap magazines, but they do produce a 10 round magazine. I'm not certain if it's legal in California or not, <laughs> but uh, they do come, the subcompact do come with two fifth, 14 round magazines, which will make it a high capacity. Uh, anything over with well, California laws, who knows? Anyway, the Walter P-22. Springfield Armory XD-9. MOUs is some cheap $4.50 Ely Prime Aguila for $4.50 in the hyper velocity for the 22 and the Walter P-22. Usually it takes a CCI, but I found in certain, every gun is finicky, the CCI throws the rounds all over the place out of my Walter P-22. The Gila in the Remington does well. What I'm shooting out of the XD9 is some ammo I bought at a gun show yesterday. Some, uh, as you can tell, but it seems to do well. I like 115 grains anyway. I don't like the kick of the high rounds unless it's the personal protection ammo. Again, the XD9, the Walter P22. Can't go wrong. Give it a try. Peace out. Rather, not peace out. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, what do you expect out of a rank amateur? <laughs>